And good afternoon, everybody. Chris Bartell here from the Cascade Pacific Council. Thanks so much for joining us today for today's Wednesday webinar. Today, we're going to talk about, well, one of my favorite subjects, of course, which is unit marketing tools, new unit marketing tools. We have some awesome things we're going to share from National, from the Boy Scouts of America, as well as some fun new tools from here in the Cascade Pacific Council. So we're going to get into that. We're also going to talk about just some easy, easy ways for you to set up and do your Scout Unit social media. So it's going to be awesome. I guarantee super, super simple, not something horrendous for you to have to bite off on. So this is going to be great. We're going to dive into that in just a moment. But first of all here, let's dive into today's safety moment. Probably one of my favorite subjects. Bob time. Bet on. Uh, remember, we have that at camp, you know, nap time. Well, this is about the power nap. So today's safety moment is about NASA's brilliant 26-minute power nap. And why are we talking about power naps? Because also, like I said, it's one of my favorite subjects. But it actually does a ton for you. It increases performance by 34%. It increases alertness by 54%. Now, this is NASA talking, not me talking. But it also reduces stress and increases creativity. Now, what they've discovered is that a 26-minute power nap is ideal for astronauts. So, hey, if it's ideal for astronauts, isn't it great for scouts and scout leaders? I think so. The ideal time, this is actually interesting, and I guarantee it works. Don't tell anybody, but I, I guarantee this works. The ideal time is between 1 and 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and what you do is you set a 26-minute timer. I personally just lay flat on the floor, set my timer, and off we go, and basically just relax and try and take yourself into another world, maybe on an adventure for your little 26-minute power nap. It's fantastic. I guarantee it works, and it just reboots the system. It's kind of crazy. Now, here's a scout leader slash parent power tip is you actually have a cup of coffee beforehand. Why? Because what happens is your body then digests it and it gives you like the super boost when you wake up after 26 minutes. So three cheers for this awesome way of doing Bob time, the power nap. There's your safety moment for today. All right, top news stories around the Cascade Pacific Council. We're going to dive into these real quick before we get into today's, to today's topic. So first of all, family camping opportunities are opening soon for this summer. It's going to be at Camp Clark. You're going to actually have this opportunity on Monday, March 4th. So watch your email for this and just watch the website because it's going to open on Monday, March 4th. You can make a reservation. And here's why. So we're having it at Camp Clark, just like we have in the last couple of years, COVID actually gave us this interesting opportunity to try out family camping and open up Camp Clark for family camping. And what's awesome is you get two and a half miles of private beach and tide pools. There are 15 secluded campsites, not all crazy with a gazillion people all around. And you get showers and flushing outhouses and new wash stands. So it's awesome. There are also premium cabins available too. So you're going to want to check that out at CPC bsa.org slash family camping. This is going to be open from June 29th through August 18th. And there's basically two sessions, so to speak, every week. So Tuesday through Thursday camping and Friday through Sunday camping. So watch for that. All right, next up, summer camp. Of course, you know, summer camp is we're getting ready to roll on summer camp this year. It's going to be awesome. It, we're expecting it is going to, be, going to be darn near for reals as much as possible. You know, we're sort of uh, juggling with, of course, different state rules and things like that. But things are changing and evolving quickly. And it's awesome. It's all going to get back to normal. We do have need some help here for that. I'll just mention that in just one second. But what you need to know is that new for this year is we have like we just mentioned for family camping is new wash stands and flushing out houses and single occupancy showers and more shelters. And what's going to be cool is that on April 1st, we're actually launching these really amazing camp portals, which will have all of the information uh, that you need as a camp leader or parent. So it's really, really great. You'll have all the information needed right there on a website, really fantastic information there, all the details. And also heads up, but next week, we're opening reservations for 2023. So if you're meeting with your scout units or talking with scout units, talking with scouts, talking with parents, 
start thinking about those dates because reservations for 2023 are going to be open next week. So prepare for awesome for that. And speaking of which, as I mentioned, we want everything to be open, but we really need help from a camp staff perspective. So please go to cpcbsa.org slash camp staff. You'll find out all the information there, but basically anyone ages 15 and up can actually do camp staff. And it is an awesome opportunity. Hey, if you're retired and you want to take a couple of weeks to just hang at camp and help out and just we could really use the help across the board. So please check that out. Literally anyone 15 and up, it can be 15 or 105 and, and come on and join us for camp staff. It'd be awesome. We have lots of opportunities for just a ton of different opportunities, no matter what your skill set is or your passion is, or even you just want to help out and, and be a great scout. Please join us for camp staff, cpcbsa.org slash camp staff for the information there. We are doing interviews as we speak and we have lots of opportunities. So just want to mention some upcoming events here, a whole bunch. So we're going to run through these pretty quickly. You can always see them at cpcbsa.org slash calendar, the events calendar. It's underneath the, the navigation there under events as well, or calendar. You can see this, but here are, here's a quick rundown of some of the things going on. First of all, on Sunday, March 19th, we have a leader training at the Zoar Church in Camden. This is for den leaders, assistant scoutmasters, and, uh, and scoutmasters themselves. This is a limited opportunity for only 15 people per class. So you're going to want to check that out. We're going to have a link here in our Compass Points email that comes up tomorrow. So watch for that for those of you leaders in the Canby kind of area. Mosey on over. It's going to be great from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday, March 19th. On Sunday, March, uh, on, that was Saturday. So now this is the Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, March 20th, Portland Winterhawk Scout Night. This is going to be awesome. We are, we get our own section, section 65 there in Memorial Coliseum. This is exclusively for Cascade Pacific Council scouts and scouters alike and their friends. You get 30% off tickets, you get patches. There's going to be a lot of fun here. We're going to have a little call out for scouts. Uh, we're working on maybe doing the flag ceremony too. So fingers crossed on that, but it's going to be awesome. You'll actually get the email for this, or there will be a link to your email, uh, the Compass Points email coming out tomorrow as well. This is, again, exclusively for those of us in the Cascade Pacific Council. We're actually asked we are actually asking you to wear your class B's for this or your camp shirt. We want to show off those camp shirts so, or your class B shirts. So do that. That'll be great. And again, 30% off tickets for that. Okay, Council Court of Honor is March 30th. Just keep your eyes peeled for this. This is going to be awesome. A great way to honor all of our amazing scouters throughout the Cascade Pacific Council. We've got tons of awards, Silver Beaver, Order of the Arrows, District Awards. We're going to talk about Eagle Scout projects and our Eagle Scout scholarship winners. Super excited to share that. That's going to be on YouTube and Facebook. And you can get a link for that. Actually, if you want a reminder in your, in your own personal calendar, go to cpcbsa.org slash calendar. And on any of our events, you can actually click a little button there and it'll download a link for your, whether you use Google Calendar or Outlook or anything like that, you could just download a link for that. Also, there's still some room for some super weekends for April 1st through 3rd for Cub Scout packs and for Scouts BSA Scouts in September. The other ones are already full for you Scouts BSA Scouts, but join us for that at cpcbsa.org. Look under the Adventures tab for Super Weekend. You can sign up for that. These are like mini summer camps, an awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity to dive on in and, and really kickstart uh, the, the summer camp season, if you will, because it's before summer camp. This is a great way that where things are open and you get to play at camp. And it's just going to be awesome. So it's at View Creek for Cub Scouts and Camp Merriweather for Scouts BSA. Okay, April 2nd through 3rd, we have Leave No Trace training. Again, this is also at the calendar, cpcbsa.org slash calendar. And this is for scouts ages 14 and up, plus adults. You learn all about Leave No Trace principles and skills and ethics. Really, really an awesome opportunity to really dive in and learn about Leave No Trace. And you can then, for scouts, become an outdoor ethics guide. And for adults, you can actually become a Leave No Trace trainer. So check that out for April 2nd and 3rd. April 8th through 10th and April 22nd through 24th, there is climbing training. If you've ever wanted to be a trainer for climbing, this is, this is your opportunity. Opportunity. Awesome, awesome uh, opportunity to really learn the ropes, so to speak, and the knots and everything else, uh, all the safety gear, all the pro, the protection, 
for climbing. This is really, really great. You'll learn techniques, safety. You'll learn about gear. You'll learn about care. You'll learn about how to instruct groups. Just an awesome opportunity. Now, this is really for adults, but also youth 16 and 17 can actually attend, but you won't receive certification, but you can actually do this. This is really, really fun because you'll really get, well, you'll learn the ropes, like we said, uh, about climbing and becoming a trainer for that. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash calendar. Just type in the word climbing and you'll find it. Outdoor Skills Institute is happening on May 13th through 15th. And this is another training class for a whole bunch of things. We're talking about Dutch oven cooking and shooting sports, leaving no traces we talked about before. Uh, this is a little, little diff different in that it is specifically for Outdoor Skills Institute. It's like a whole weekend of classes you get to take. So check that out as well at cpcbsa.org slash OSI. This is for Outdoor Skills Institute. It is really, really great training for, for you adults out there. Okay, and for you Scouts BSA youth, we have Meriting with the Experts. This is awesome. We have our friends at Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. They are hosting a whole plethora of, of classes for merit badges. And these courses actually can will be full courses for the full merit badge or partials, but really awesome and fun opportunity to hang out at Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum and learn from the experts about engineering and aviation and so much more. You'll see there are a whole bunch of opportunities at cpcbsa.org slash calendar. So you're going to want to check that out. There's just a whole bunch of weekends. So we don't have them listed here because there's a lot of them. All right. Save the date for September because two weekends in September, we have Wood Badge. Wood Badge is just an awesome opportunity, again, for adults to take your leadership and training to the next level, not just for scouts, but for career and life. Really Really amazing opportunity. You can find out more at cpcbsa.org slash woodbadge. Woodbadge is just for adults. It's just an amazing opportunity to really grow in your leadership skills. There are two weekends that are required for this. And uh, one weekend is at Camp Clark, the first weekend, and the second weekend is at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash woodbadge. And also two other things. World Jamboree is happening in August of 2023. National Jamboree is happening in July of 2023. These are amazing opportunities to connect with scouts from all over the nation in national jamborees for, um, in terms of national jamboree and across the world for world jamboree so check that out world jambo is at wsj2023.us and national jambo you can find all, all the information there at cpcbsa.org slash jamboree just incredible opportunities to meet scouts from everywhere it's really really great okay a couple other things quickly in other news just a reminder that Camp for All is happening for those of you who are uh, scout units that are working on your Camp for All campaigns. Of course, this is our fundraiser. For those of you who don't know, it's our fundraiser for specifically for, for scout camp, for programs at camp, and for camp scholarships. So we'd love to have your support out there in the world at cpcbsa.org slash camp for all. That's the number four. Or for those of you scout units who need some tools and things like that, go to cpcbsa.org slash start camp for all and you'll get all the tools there for your Camp for All campaign. Also, for those of you who are into uh, shotguns, well, join us for the Kerr Contractors Sporting Clays Shootout. You can grab a whole team, a whole gang together, and it is basically golf with shotguns. It's really amazing. All of these holes, so to speak, where you get to shoot, uh, shoot a whole bunch of skeet, and it is just, it is for Sporting Clays. It is fantastic, an incredibly fun full day slash full weekend uh, of shooting with your friends. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash shootout. Also, there are a couple opportunities to become a sponsor for a Camp Merriweather staff bunkhouse. And this means you get to be a part of Camp Merriweather history. Awesome opportunity to put your name or some loved one's name or someone's name on a bunkhouse for all of eternity. And just check this out and, uh, at, and contact Mike Egan at michael.egan, that's E-G-A-N at scouting.org. He's got all the details on this, just a really, really great way to check out the bunkhouses and have your name on them or a friend's name or family member, all of that. What a great way to be a part of Camp Merriweather history. Okay, Whew. lots of news, lots of updates. It's great stuff. But now we're going to dive in here to unit marketing tools. Lots of great tools here that we're going to share. Some of you may have seen these before. We've got some updates to them as well. But really one of the big ones, because one of my goals this year is to help you with your social media. Uh, as a Scoutmaster myself, we have a Facebook page and, and we try and keep it updated, but I know it's 
hard to do. It's like one more thing, right? So what we discovered is a great tool to help you uh, to help you keep your social media feed fresh with some great fun content. So I'm going to show that to you in just a minute. There's your teaser. I'm going to show that to you in just a minute. But first, we're also going to talk about the new marketing campaign from uh, the Boy Scouts of America. So it's called Adventure On. There are tons and tons of tools here. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to walk you through the marketing page at cpcbsa.org slash marketing. Marketing. And what's going to be there is all of these links to all the things we're going to talk about today. So I'll give kind of a brief overview and a little bit teaser for things, but there's just some tools that hopefully uh, you find really, really useful. And of course, I, as your marketing person, would love your feedback. So let's dive into that real quick here. I'm still sharing this screen. We're going to actually go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing, and that takes you to this page right here. And it has marketing tools and resources. So this is kind of your landing page, cpcbsa.org slash marketing. It has everything that you need here that I'm going to talk about today. Awesome latest and greatest updates and tools for you. And what we try and do here is when National BSA has new opportunities and, and information, we put that here as well at cpcbsa.org slash marketing. So what you're going to see is there are tools from National and there are tools from Cascade Pacific Council. And a lot of them are grit themed, things like that. So let me just run through this real quick here is first of all, you'll see some links here on the left. You have links for ordering Cascade Pacific Council signs and banners and more. You have uh, images and videos that you can download that are grit themed. We also have a marketing toolkit for you that you can ask access. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then a link to the BSA Brand Center, which has all the adventure on materials and a link to send us your marketing requests. So that goes to me and then I can help you with any requests you have. But what we have here is we've got a couple of things. We've got our Pinewood Derby promo tools. If you click on this, it sends you to the uh, Pinewood Derby page on what's called the Boy Scouts of America Brand Center. I'm gonna close this out here real quick here. And it has all this great material. So you can see there's, there's all these downloadables here, lots of great images you can use for Pinewood Derby, for instance. So that's, what that, that's where this links to. Now, what we have here is I'm gonna go down here and talk about some of the other things here about the Scout uh, the, the Boy Scouts of America, of America campaign, this Adventure On campaign. What we're going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the materials here. Again, you just click on the links, click on those images, and it'll take you right to all of the great tools here. So we've got we've got flyers, we've got logos, we've got postcards, there are posters, there's a, a social media kit, there are backgrounds you can use, and there are web banners. Now we have that, all of these tools. So you click on these folders here, and it gives you all of these other uh, downloadables. So you just click on them and you download them. It's pretty, pretty simple. And you can customize them and do whatever you like with them, which is really, really nice. And so there's tons of tools there. Also, the same with the, the Cub Scout version of Adventure On 2. There's tons of tools here that are very, very similar. If we go actually back to, let's go back to the main page here, you'll see throughout all of the BSA Brand Center, there's everything you need. So they've got logos, they've got all the promotional materials, they've got all the marketing and membership materials, lots and lots of great stuff. So you'll see that there. And again, all, both of them have actually flyers and uh, gosh, just web banners, lots of things you can use to just quickly create, you know, Facebook posts, you can send them to friends and, and all of that. So that's all available to you there. Let's see here. What I'm going to go to now is, you see the link there, also on the BSA uh, website there on the Brand Center, they'll have downloadables of a whole different kind. They have just tons of things. So there's lots of videos and things like that. But also one thing to note too, is there is a link, let's go do it real quick here, to the Marketing and Membership Hub. So if we click on that, it actually takes us to this page here, which at Scouting Wire. And what it has here is it has a whole bunch of recruiting tools and tips and things like that. So you click on any of these. Let's just go to, uh, let's go to Pack and Den Recruiting. Click on this. And what happens is there are all these tools, sign up playbook, a couple of case studies, social media images, things like that. So lots of great tools here. When you get to the BSA Brand Center, it takes you to this Scouting Wire page and, uh, and you can get lots of tools there. 
Uh, also, just so you know, is there are marketing webinars, kind of like what we're doing today, but this is more generic and for all of Boy Scouts of America. So you can click on this and it'll actually take you to their past webinars. That said is there is actually a webinar happening tonight. And so if you go to scoutingwire.org, um, you'll actually see the information for tonight's webinar and you'll actually see it at, uh, let's see here, let's go back here at the market, back here at the Marketing and Membership Hub, that's where you get get that. Uh, so what you get here is you can see at cpcbsa.org slash marketing, we have a link to tonight's webinar. So that is from basically 5 to 7 p.m. or 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time tonight is a Cub Scout spring recruiting webinar. So you'll want to check that out at cpcbsa.org slash marketing. And let's see here. So those are the tools from the BSA. What we have here as well are some tools for the Cascade Pacific Council that we've we've developed. So I'm going to walk through these just real quick here is if you click on order CPC signs and banners and more, that actually takes you to this page, signs and banners and more. And so what you can actually do is we have an order form here for Cub Scout pack materials and an order form for other unit materials. You fill out a little form and you can kind of choose what kind of banner you want here. So you'll see some examples of, of what the banners look like here. We have these three by six banners, three foot by six foot banners. They're, they're really neat. We also have banners that are a little bit smaller, two and a half feet by three feet. So they're vinyl banners and you can customize them. So you can actually, let's click up one here. So it looks like this. And this is the boys one, for instance, is you can click on it and you can just see what it looks like. So you know what you're kind of ordering, but these you can customize just with a, with a Sharpie. You can say when you meet, you can say what your contact information is. Some, uh, some units have a website, some have a Facebook page. So you can put that there and it's all customizable. So we have boy units and girl units, and we've got Mick, we've got uh, uh, units that boy and girl units. So we've kind of got a whole variety here. We've got Cub Scout ones, all of that. So you can order those right there. Also, just so you know, because it's kind of topical since we're doing scouting for food this weekend, is we have these banners here, this now is serving your community. So this one over here to the right, we have community service banners and they're just generic, but they're a great banner to put up whenever you're doing a service project around, around town. Just a really great way to, to share that, hey, look at us, we're, we're actually helping out the community. So just some tools there for you. So make sure you order those. Okay, let's go back here. So that's your CBC Science banners. now. The other one here is we have downloadables uh, for grit images, videos, and more. You click on that, and that will actually take you to this page. All the stuff you see here is downloadable. What we have here is just some how-tos, some quick tips. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go into all the detail here, but just so you know, we have a whole bunch of these social media headers and posts you can use. You can download these. You can literally just drag and drop them. You can actually save them on your phone. You can use them as a post actually for your social media if you want and put a little message in there. So those are all downloadables there. We also have some information that you can, some stats and facts if you ever wanted to share that with, with other parents or people who are, who are interested or on the fence. So we have lots of tips on this page. This is all meant to be something that you can copy paste into your phone, for instance, and text it to somebody. So we have example uh, email messages and text messages. We have videos you can download. All that stuff is available here. We've got these just short and sweet little videos. You've seen a bunch of these already probably, but we just basically uh, click on it here and we can actually watch them. And let me share my Lots of energy. So you can actually download those. You can use them on Instagram or they're great fun to text anyway. So those are fun to do. Also, we have these little short and sweet little promo videos. They're just really, really simple. Uh, they're pretty cute. They're just easy and small, emailable, textable. Hey, we'd love to have you join us for scout camp this year. You should come and visit our unit, that kind of thing. Super, super simple. So little, little promo videos there. We've got some for older scouts as well. Anyway, the other thing too, is we have these buttons you can use in your email or on Facebook. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. We also have tons and tons of downloadable flyers and things like that too, if you want to download them. Now, if you want to actually have customized ones, I'm going to show you a little trick here is that then the next thing we have here is this get the CPC marketing toolkit access. When you click on this, you actually go to a web form. And what it does is you just fill it out to let us know what unit you're with and whatnot. 
And what you then receive is access to a, a little toolkit built in Canva. And what it has here is you then receive the login for our Canva account. You can do anything you want with it, pretty much anyway. But what we've done here is, for those of you who have never seen Canva, Canva is a design tool. It's literally what we've created almost everything in. It's pretty amazing. You can do flyers, you can do little logos and graphics, and you could do stickers. You could just kind of have fun with it. Uh, anybody who's got a tiny, itty bitty uh, understanding of from a design perspective, oh my gosh, you can just go crazy. And even if you don't, we have templates in here for everything. So you actually come here, and you can actually see here we have all these designs in here. We've got Zoom backgrounds. We've got event templates. We've got Facebook post templates. We've just got a whole bunch of tools here. We've got flyers for unit events and things like that. And so there's just tons and tons of tools here that you can use for your own scout unit. And we just, we keep it open and accessible and then you have all these great, great tools and you can create your own or customize your own if you want. So you can just see like, oh, it's so much fun. Grit email headers. So there's just lots of, uh, lots of things you can use. And really any of these images, you just click on them and then you can download them. You can make basically videos out of anything you want. It's really, really great. And from a social media perspective, if you're creating things to post on your social media feed, this is just really, really an easy way to do it. Because you basically can click edit on anything, literally anything. And then all you have to do is, and again, I'm just giving you a super brief overview here, is you can actually see how these play out. You can actually download click on this download button, you can actually create an, a video out of anything. It basically makes an animation or you can create a JPEG or a PNG file. These are just static image files of anything and download them and use them to your leisure. So it's really, really a neat tool. And you get access to that when you go to our um, marketing toolkit page. So you're going to go to that link and sign up for it. You get access to this. Okay. So there's the marketing toolkit. As I mentioned, we have the BSA Brand Center, so there's access to that. You can send us your marketing requests. Now, the next big main topic I just wanted to cover is we here at the Cascade Pacific Council can help you help energize, as we'd like to say, your social media feed. Because as I mentioned, it can be kind of horrendous to, oh my gosh, I've got to do one more thing for my scout unit. I'm slam busy. I'm a cub master. I'm a system master. I'm a committee chair. Oh my gosh, I've got too much going on. Doing social media, oh. However, let me tell you, we've got a tool here that if you basically, all you have to do is start a page and connect it to us, and we will help uh, actually add content to your, to your feed. I'm going to show you examples here in just a minute. There are directions here, and there's actually a little video on how to do it, but today we're just going to go through it real quick. I'm going to go back to the slide deck here, just so you can see the step-by-step -step guide here. It's actually very, very simple. All you're going to do is go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing. You're then going to grab any graphics you want. You're then going to start a public Facebook group. And today we're really focusing on Facebook. And, and I'll tell you why in just a second. You then can then upload any images to your Facebook feed. And then you can connect after your Facebook group is your public face group. Facebook group is created, you can then connect it to us. And what happens when you go back to cpcbsa.org slash marketing, and you click this connect button, it actually gives us access to your feed. And what we then do is post kind of generic posts, but about scouting and things like that with the call to action or the desire for somebody to make an action to engage with you. The action is contact us, the scout unit, your scout unit to learn more. I'll show you what that means in just a second here. I'm going to show you an example. So what we do is if you connect your social media feed to us, so remember you've, you've started a Facebook, a public Facebook group page, you've then gone to cpcbsa.org slash marketing. And all you do is you scroll down here and it says, connect your account. You literally connect this here. You click on this Facebook page or Facebook group. You click this button. And hopefully I'm not sure if you'll see this because of how zoom is working but basically you just click the connect button you'll then continue as you there's a question that says who are you basically and as long as you're logged in to facebook it will ask you to connect your account and what happens is then you select your page that you manage so you have to be the person who created the group or you're a manager of the of your scout units group you then connect it 
and you click OK or Save Settings. And now what happens is that then allows us through our tool, it's a tool called Sendable that we use, it allows us to post to your feed. And I'm gonna show you some examples of the things that we have been posting. So for instance, here is Cub Scout Pack 690's page. You'll see here on their page, on their Facebook page, they have posts like our Weeblo Scouts thank the DJ Pepin Art Gallery at Bridgeport Village for allowing us to admire your art in order to check off some of our requirements for the art explosion adventure. Okay, so the Cub Scout Pack posted this. And as we scroll down to the page, Look at this one right here. Join us in the great adventure that we call scouting in the Boy Scouts of America. Want to hear about the fun we have in store? Have questions about scouting? Message us. And this little post that you see right here is created from our tool that we're talking about. So you can see that the post is a little generic, but fun and scouty. The post itself is a little video post. It actually has some music. So it's got a little music to it. All right, we'll pause that because that's really loud. Um, but anyway, because I have it turned up here on my on my screen. But anyway, it suffice it to say is we create posts and can post them to your feed, which keeps it fresh. So what we're doing is about every week, we'll just post something like that. Or in this case, look at this one here. Why do we scout? Yes, it's about adventure and fun, but personal growth and becoming prepared for career and life. And according to researchers at Y-Pulse, kids today truly desire to learn these skills. Check it out. Now, this is what we did is that um, Scouting Magazine actually created this post and Brandon Scouting had a post on this thing. So we just actually posted this to all of the scout units who have connected with us. And what we actually can do is post separate, uh, separate posts to Cub Scout units versus the older scout units. I'll show you in a second here. Uh, but as you can see in this feed is they have this scout, this scout pack. So Cub Scout Pack 690 has created their own their own posts, but also it's supplemented by posts like this. Join us in the great adventure we call scouting. Want to have one here about the fun we have in store? Have questions about scouting? Message us. There's another post from us, kind of generic. And while it may seem a little repetitive, what we're assuming is that people aren't just seeing coming to your page and seeing your posts all the time until they actually come to your page and see your posts. But what happens is then what happens is that parents in the scout unit can simply share these, share these posts, whether it's this, the scout units posts or the post that the Cascade Pacific Council publishes. And, uh, and then it just, you know, spreads the good word. And my goal is that we actually have, I would love it if we could get a hundred units to connect with us. Imagine if we had a hundred units that we had uh, that were sharing stories every week with Without actually having to do anything because I create these posts for you and just you just have to supplement them with your own posts even just once a month but what's amazing is that spreads the word imagine how much of this great uh, scouting adventure we could share with so many people so this is the example of Cub Scout Pack 690 now what we're going to do here is we'll next go to Tigered Scout Troop 799 and what you see here is they actually have used the Grit Starts Here little emblem here that you can download at that link I shared with you. And so you don't even have to have a custom one. You could just use our tools. Check this out. So they've connected with us at cbcbsa.org slash marketing. And you can see their feed has a similar piece, but it actually has images of the kids of the scouts who are actually Scouts BSA. So a little bit older scouts, things like that. We do keep it kind of generic we, and we mix it up with boys and girls. Now I know there aren't all units have boys and girls, um, but we, we do want to spread the word that it's actually for boys and girls. So just FYI on that. Uh, and of course, if there was ever a piece that you didn't like you and you're the admin, you just click on this button and click delete. So, but we try and keep it pretty generic, but try and keep it pretty engaging and interesting. But you can see here, Tiger Scout Troop 799 has the same posts uh, that we've posted with a little bit different spin based on the fact that it's Scouts BSA versus Cub Scouts. And then of course, they're supplementing it with all of their other posts as well. So again, imagine if we, this Cascade Pacific Council can post something for you every week, it keeps your feed super, super fresh. And then you just supplement it once a week uh, with, with, or once a month even with your own with your own posts. But again, it keeps it fresh and you can just let the parents know, hey gang, we got a new post. Please share it with your with your community. Because again, that's that's some awesome, awesome hyper local targeted marketing for your scout unit. And actually our scout troop has actually seen great success. And it's a great to be in people's feeds and have our parents share the posts because it just keeps the energy up and people keeps people engaged who might be interested in your scout unit. So that's why it's super, super easy. And what you can do, if you go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing, what I have created here brand new is 
you can actually click uh, here. You'll see here on the page here, I explain all the stuff I just explained now. And some examples of the kind of posts, right? We have these fun quotes and things like that. But you can actually click on this view or download social media posts. And what you'll see there is all the posts that I have queued up I, that are in the ready. These are all downloadable. You can grab them if you want. There are static images. Most of them are little video files. We have different you can see, I call them promo quotes, just because I like the quotes, they're fun. Some are from Baden Powell, some are, some are about adventures, just from all of the map. It's really, really fun, but you can actually download these and use them. So, uh, and use them to, uh, to post whenever you like, but otherwise you can connect with us and, and we'll post them for you. So that's what's there. Also, I wanted you to be able to see examples, like two I just showed, of the units who have connected with us. So you can actually, in this little section here, we say, we say uh, some units who have connected with us. You can click below to see these examples like I just shared with you, but just so you can get a gist as to like what we're sharing and things like that. So you can talk to your parents and say like, hey, hey gang, anyone want to be the head uh, in charge of our, our Facebook uh, group page? And uh, check us, check it out. It looks like the council can actually post stuff for us and we don't have to do a lot of work. So all we have to do is share it. So anyway, that's how that works. So you can actually see some examples there. So hopefully that is, that is helpful for you. All right, that was the main thing I wanted to share today. Just this connection. Now you can also connect, you'll see here, if we scroll down, you can actually connect an Instagram page as well. However, here's one thing that, and some of you are doing Instagram. It's just awesome. Super, super, super great. Love it, love it, love it. But from a, um, one thing that Facebook allows you and us to do is actually have links to things that connect to something else. Instagram doesn't allow that. And so that's what's nice about that, trying to get units to actually create a Facebook page because there's a lot of other marketing that we'll discuss later that you can actually do with, uh, with a Facebook page or a Facebook group page rather than um, an Instagram page. Plus it has to be an Instagram business account, blah, blah, blah. But so if you create a Facebook group page, just go ahead and go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing and connect with us. And we can, uh, we can help you do these posts. And again, you can just supplement with whatever you like. So that is how that works. Hopefully that is simple, simple pimple. And uh, again, it's really a couple of steps. All you need to do is go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing. You can grab any of the graphics, any of the materials there. We have all the downloadables and things ready and raring to go for you. Uh, and you can start then a public Facebook but group or page. This does need to be a public one because I know a lot of units actually create a private one for their families, which is awesome. But talk to your talk to your scouts and parents about what you would like to do. And then you can actually create a public group. Talk about what you want to actually post. Again, we're posting things that are that are generic but fun and very scouty and things like that. And then all you have to do is you can just use the things that you download from cpcbsa.org slash marketing or from the Scouts, the, the uh, Boy Scouts of America brand center, tons of graphics and images there as well that you can just use as posts. Literally, hopefully this inspires some creativity where you can actually just say, hey, come join us for scouting. It's awesome. We're having a great time. And you just share an image. I mean, it's literally that can be that simple. simple. And what we want to encourage you to do is just post something once a month. That's it. Just start with once a month. If you're having some fun at a meeting or you're excited about summer camp, whatever it is. And our goal is to post something weekly to your, to your scout units, Facebook page. So hopefully you'll, you'll be, uh, be inspired here and understand that it's hopefully not something too horrendous for you to have to do and, and makes it hopefully super, super easy for you as a scout unit. Okay, that is all I had for today. Just wanted to give you that brief overview of those new tools and some of the great things. Don't forget that the Cub Scout webinar is tonight. You can get the link to that at cpcbsa.org slash marketing. I'm going to check and see if anybody has any questions. We have some folks on online here. So we're going to check this out. Let me just look here uh, real quick at Facebook. Give me one second here. We're just going to make sure that uh, nobody has any questions and whatnot. Awesome, awesome. It looks like we are all good to go. So thank you all for joining us today. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, and super excited to, to share this with you. And uh, thanks so much for, for joining in. And again, go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing for that, for all the tools that we mentioned today. And uh, we've got some other webinars coming up too. We're working on scheduling these. So it's going to be some fun things, some fun topics. So again, we'll do this on Wednesdays. It's of course, the recording is always available and ready for you at 
at all times. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash webinars for all of our recordings. Thanks again for joining us today, and we will see you next week.